a nice evening and uh, we're still staying here for the last game of the day which is uh, Firenze against uh, Zurich and this is a chance for Firenze at least to win a, a game for the day but I think it will be tough for them against Firenze. Firenze uh, is a very experienced team and we saw them today uh, playing very good uh, even though they had uh, very strong opponents. I'm back. Thank you, Susanna. Uh, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Lucky you. Uh, you can go to sleep with Sil. Yeah, I, I, miss, yeah. I miss Karl Richter uh, Trummel here in the live chat. He was a, a steady uh, 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 follower in the live chat last year. So hopefully tomorrow he has time uh, to, to join us. Uh, would be love. And here is Jan again. Uh, go with uh, Suri. So let's go into the game and uh, comment the last uh, game of the day. Uh, Zurich uh, is in white, uh, Firenze in blue. And Zurich is attacking hard on the Firenze basket. Um, but uh, Firenze recover the ball. We are now on the surface. And um, thank you, Angela. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, and, and uh, listening to our comments. Uh, it's great uh, to have you with us. See you tomorrow, hopefully. So, um, right here in the game we have uh, Zurich uh, trying to fight its way through the uh, uh, forechecking defense of uh, Firenze, but uh, uh, we see Zurich is uh, owning the space and the ball, uh, or keeping the ball possession around uh, the Firenze basket. Firenze was not able until now uh, to uh, break through to the Swiss basket. And there's a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one fighting. And now a call from uh, the referee, free throw. Free throw against Firenze. Uh, now I see the sign of the uh, referee. Free throw against Frenente for uh, uh, Zurich. So, uh, do you know if, if Vin is already uploading the game? For no, the he, I told already. Uh, yeah. uh, he's doing it uh, after the Champions Cup. Yes, he will upload the game. Uh, the game, so they are not accessible right now. Uh, everybody who hasn't seen the, the, the most exciting games of today, it was uh, Bamberg against Ege and uh, Orcas against uh, uh, Molde. Uh, it's a pity, it was really a thriller there. Bamberg against Flipper. Ah, Flipper, sorry. Uh, but we had Bamberg against Ege today. I think so. Um, earlier probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, Zurich is really uh, fighting hard. Now, this, this is close and this is the goal. Uh, pushed really slowly with an attacker in the armpit uh, uh, through the little space next to the head of the goalkeeper and uh, pushed it in. Uh, um, and it was uh, earned because uh, Zurich was uh, working really hard on the uh, Italian basket uh, from the beginning on. But now we will see uh, Zurich at, uh, uh, Firenze attacking. And uh, this game is not over. We are uh, still have six minutes in the first half here. And Firenze is good for scoring uh, as soon as they are out of their own uh, uh, defense mode and uh, switch back to attack. So let's see what defense, uh, what uh, Firenze has in store here. They go in uh, on the, from the middle of the pool, uh, on the bottom of the pool to the basket and uh, the players just turning around, turning around, uh, uh, around the uh, defense. Now the ball is free floating and another defense, uh, another attacker from Firenze is going uh, is trying to go in, but is uh, pushed up to the surface. Ball is com uh, again down. And uh, actually, uh, Firenze now does the same thing uh, Zurich does, uh, did for the last five minutes, and is, uh, is trying to push, uh, uh, put pressure on the Swiss basket. But uh, I also see the, the Swiss are doing a better job uh, keeping. Uh, the Italians away at least uh, one to two meters from the basket than did the Italians with the Swiss. 
a call from the referee, the chief referee on the service, uh, surface made a call. Uh, yes. Free throw I mean against uh, still Zurich. Everything can happen here. I mean, Zurich uh, had a, a great attack um, as they scored, but um, Firenze is putting up a, a fight and they are now in possession of the ball and trying to uh, recover that, that last goal. Uh, Switzerland is uh, defending and, and, and <laughs> keeping. Uh, the um, Italians uh, away, but the Italians are also now on top of the um, goalie and keep possession of the ball and constantly coming waves, even though it just are, uh, you know, only attackers coming. Um, maybe a more effective uh, attack would be two over the side or um, go, you know, over the, the goalkeeper and do a, a, a pass down to a partner better than just coming alone because all uh, the Swiss are being very consequent and we have the goalie, the defender and the attacker uh, doing the forechecking. Uh, but nevertheless, um, the Italians are uh, really uh, fighting to recover uh, this game. Um, they are now trying to come over the close uh, uh, corner and um, they almost lost the ball but they keep coming and they keep in possession of the ball and they need to see if they come in an attack with two or three you know that to create more pressure but nevertheless they're creating a little bit more of chaos and distress in the basket of the Swiss and if they can continue uh, like that uh, then maybe they have the opportunity to score right now they're fighting uh, there's two blue uh, players of Italy trying to fight they remove the goalie from the basket but uh, they are now in the surface in a cluster so the ball is far away and that was the closest chance I've seen since the beginning of the team the, of the match uh, so uh, that means that Italy can still recover and can get uh, a score uh, and uh, maybe even uh, win the, the match. Everything is open. Everything is open. Both teams can uh, win the the match still. So, uh, who took the timeout? Do you know who took the timeout? No, didn't Pro see. So I would say no. I, I would say Switzerland. Okay. Because Firenze was attacking fiercely, and the Swiss were at the beginning in control of the game. They scored, and right now, the last five minutes, it was uh, Italy attacking, and they didn't find, even though they were defending well, they had problems to to just stop the attack uh, of Italy. So I think they want to regroup, to uh, catch a breath, and to uh, you know focus again, because uh, otherwise, uh, Italy is going to score. So 13 seconds left here uh, in this uh, timeout of the last game of the day. We will be back with you in a second. Here we are again. Um, <laughs> going to be that, that was private. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, Italy is attacking uh, on the uh, Swiss basket from the open side. Uh, the attacker tries to uh, drill himself into the defense. Um, didn't succeed, <laughs> but as far as I can see, the ball is still in uh, Italian Italy control. Uh, on Italy come the call from the referees, from the chief referee above. Um, free throw against uh, Switzerland again. Two minutes left in this first half. So uh, this is... Uh, uh, we, we've seen this uh, many times uh, today. Attackers uh, tackled away up to the surface. Um, and now the Switzerland succeeded in breaking free. They were... Uh, pinned to their own uh, basket and, uh, um, and to their uh, uh, defense. But now they break free and try to uh, break through with free throw and the free throw. They break through through the to the uh, Italian basket and go in uh, with two players. And they go in quite uh, heavily 
on the close side. Uh, call from the referee. Penalty. We see another penalty today. Uh, penalty against Italy. Penalty against Italy, uh, probably shoulder in the basket uh, or holding. Didn't see what happened. Um, this is hard for uh, All right, I'm back, for uh, Firenze and a very good uh, thing for uh, Zurich. Penalty against yes. Italy. So Jan, you uh, should be happy uh, for uh, the Swiss team here. Uh, I don't see you celebrating uh, on the uh, live stream chat. Come on, let's do a dance. Uh, this is really a good start uh, uh, in this game uh, for uh, Zurich scoring and our penalty for them. So uh, I missed, uh, you didn't see what was the reason of the penalty? Tired too slowly. Those three words don't fit together, Jan. Tired too slowly. Meaning... We, we, need, we need more... Uh, information. <laughs> elaborate, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we see here uh, the penalty throw uh, uh, of uh, Zurich against Firenze. The Firenze player just uh, uh, pretended to dive uh, directly, but then went over the head of the Zurich player. That was uh, uh, the, the, the fierce player. That was fast and uh, very controlled uh, uh, punch of the ball into the basket. So uh, end of the first half. Um, End of the first half uh, here. Um, okay, the, uh, sorry for the interruption. We just had. Uh, uh, some more uh, people uh, uh, asking to stay with us in our apartment. Uh, luckily, it's big, uh, but uh, I lost the count uh, how many people we have uh, uh, here in our home. A lot of Colombians um, and a lot of helpers here in the, the Champions Cup. Fabian uh, is German, living in Switzerland uh, since over 10 years now. Uh, the one who scored, uh, the, the attacker. Uh, whom, whom are you talking uh, of, uh, Jan, here in the live chat? So, um, the last break for today, and we have uh, 10 minutes ahead. And uh, that was not a lucky game for Firenze, but a very uh, good game for uh, uh, Switzerland. They scored in the first minute against uh, Firenze from Italy. And uh, almost at the end of the first half, they uh, uh, had the opportunity for a, um, for a penalty. And uh, they scored uh, very fast, very decided uh, way. Okay, thank you, Jan. So the penalty scorer for Switzerland was Fabian, a German living in Switzerland. Um, very well done. Um, and now we see the last half. It's a 2-0 uh, uh, for yeah, the for Swiss Zurich. team for Zurich. It, it's not uh, decided. I think two is, is still two is still uh, doable uh, for. Uh, for um, for Italy, if they score in the beginning, take their time and then score again. But uh, um, I think 
Switzerland will know how to prevent that. Um, so, curious about this, uh, the last half. Uh, the pool area is almost empty, and Frenente, I think they will have a prep talk uh, in this uh, in this break. Eskil, what? That was like slow motion. That was a that was a still uh, uh, picture uh, of this uh, stuff. <laughs> Never seen that before. Every that every like everything freeze, you know, yeah everything freeze. frozen just uh, while going for the ball. So um, I believe nine minutes is time enough to score two goals. True, but Switzerland will not sleep. That's it. I'm just saying True. Um, that uh, it's, it's time enough. I'm not saying that Fidenz is the position of doing it. Um, they, if they need uh, to, uh, if they were attacking like they did in the first part, but they achieved to attack with more than one player, then maybe, but they need to focus and concentrate. Otherwise, uh, I think uh, this is a game that's going to go to Switzerland. And uh, well, they both teams uh, would have earned it. They're fighting for the places nine to twelve. Nine to twelve from uh, fourteen men team here on Champions Cup 2014, and we have now uh, one player one on one, almost one on one. Uh, uh, from Firenze uh, at the Swiss basket, but he was stopped by the defenders, and uh, there is now a, a big cluster round round the Swiss goal, and the Firenze player couldn't uh, score right there, um, but it was a, a nice uh, counter attack, uh, fast swimming, called from the referees. 140 people are still with us. That's Great, thanks so much for being there listening. Well, they all, all, I all Italian and all Swiss, probably, and some of them even Swiss Italian, <laughs> which is not impossible. Oh, another Swiss attack on the game, and that was a goalie. heavy pushing from the yeah. open side on into the, the goalie and pushing and, and trying to push him away from the goal. I mean, that was close, but Italy is just barely recovering and trying to snatch the ball away from the Swiss player. Um, but the Swiss players is still in possession of the ball. That's good. I mean, he's waiting for some of the teammates to come and help him. Uh, and uh, the goalie in, in Italy is being pushed down by uh, the other goalie. But they recover the ball and try to swim in a counter-attack with swim straight into the body of the Swiss player and uh, lost the ball by doing so. Um, I mean, they, they uh, you know, they're, they're playing a, a good match. I mean, they're... Uh, who were who you talking about? About both teams? Both teams. Yeah, quite definitely. Equal, and Switzerland it was just more... In the moment that they had the chance, the opportunity to score, they did it. And Firenze, no, missed a couple of opportunities. That's that's why they it's, have the it's and late. Another Firenze it's player that just stole the basket of Switzerland, and so it's a question of how long he's going to be able to and stay in uh, that position. Uh, since uh, Switzerland recovered the ball and is now in the middle of the pool, uh, there's no use for him uh, waiting there. Um, it's very late. Uh, if we feel it, the players must feel it uh, even more. Uh, it's in their bones now. They all had. Uh, games today um, so both teams are doing good job are you yawning oh, oh sorry no 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 I was just breathing hard <laughs> <laughs> yes um. so the last six minutes uh, of the last game uh, of uh, Firenze Cup uh, 2016 um, Please also watch our uh, Champions Cup uh, website, uh, Facebook website. Uh, if I uploaded uh, really great pictures uh, from around the pool of the teams and uh, funny pictures, uh, just uh, check them out. You will love them. And uh, some of them have really high uh, hits on Facebook. So you will see them maybe on other pages. So uh, Italy is uh, defending the basket. And uh, they they cannot break free. Five minutes, a little bit more than five minutes left. Um, and now uh, Firenze, they they he, he 
he recovered the ball, but he's going up to the surface, the player, the goalie, uh, directly into the, the pulk of players waiting there. And we have another cluster, which is uh, called by the referees, free throw against Switzerland. All right, I mean, five minutes left, and uh, I don't see Firenze uh, being able to change this game around. I mean, Switzerland uh, is uh, more um, consistent in uh, defending and calling the ball and uh, blocking Firenze's uh, attacks. And yeah, uh, I think um, um, uh, Switzerland is uh, more in the game than uh, uh, Italy. And, yeah, uh, they're playing more like a team. Yes. They and support each other a bit more on the water for what we can see right here. And, and Firenze looks exhausted, uh, more exhausted than Switzerland does. You think? Uh, oh. Thank you, Jan, for uh, yeah, uh, congratulating about the quality of uh, the video. Uh, it was not what uh, we wanted because the, I think, uh, as far as I know, the internet connection is not the one we uh, hoped for. But uh, you will uh, be able to watch uh, all the recordings in HD, which uh, we see here on the our screens. But we have the live stream too, and, and we are quite uh, 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 content with the pictures we see in the live stream. So last uh, three minutes left in Champions Cup uh, 2016 on the second day. We have the finals tomorrow. We have been transmitting 16 hours straight. Yes, we are so talking far. for 16 hours straight now. and uh, You have been talking more than I, and that's a lot to say. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. It's only one time uh, the year. So again, <laughs> another attack of uh, Switzerland. And there, oh, this is uh, another chance for them to score. The, the basket was a, there was a big hole. Um. No, but uh, Firenze did a good job uh, just taking that uh, attacker. Um, They're still they defending quite well. They they don't uh, give up. They don't leave uh, big holes for uh, um, uh, for the Swiss players to 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 easy to for easy uh, goal. But uh, nevertheless, they don't succeed. Oh, this is now uh, deciding. Yeah. Uh, okay, that was quite uh, a big surprise, a little bit of surprise. Mistake, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they are out of air. Uh, yeah. You can see Firenze, they uh, hope to uh, survive the next. Uh, great job from Switzerland. I yes. 3 0, it's really. And they are consistent in the attacking uh, and defending, really. I mean, I think there's been also a surprise for, uh, for Firenze. Huh. I thought we see Jan uh, in the uh, live stream uh, celebrating and uh, <laughs> dancing. Yeah, another goal for Zurich. I feel a little bit sorry for uh, the Firenze uh, team, but uh, well, uh, I would feel sorry for uh, Switzerland too, and I'm happy for Switzerland in this case. Um, but now Firenze is uh, uh, attacking from the close side of the basket, and tr they try to push in in the defense, but they lost the ball and uh, Switzerland is doing a counter-attack. And uh, with the Swiss team, we have uh, Thorsten Stanchus, the coach uh, of uh, the, uh, the U21 team, which was playing uh, in Sunnyford. Uh, he's sharing the coaching uh, together with uh, <coughs> uh, with uh, uh, Lena? No. Uh, Klaus Traeger oh, okay. and uh, with uh, the team captain uh, from uh, the men and the women's team who played in Sanjefort. So this is uh, the, a late, uh, late night victory for uh, Switzerland. We have 55 seconds left uh, here in the, uh, in the last game in the second half of uh, Champions Cup 2016. And uh, the time is ticking, and there will be no uh, scoring for Italy as far as I can see. Last uh, attack possibility, 27, 25 uh, seconds left. 
and a counterattack even from Switzerland. Counterattack now, uh, defend, uh, for checking. Uh, the, well, Firenze is still. Oh, another goal, even wow, though Firenze great was. Job. Uh, 10 seconds before the end. I mean, 4-0 wow. for Switzerland. That has been really an impressive game. Congratulations to Switzerland, 4-0 for Zurich. Well, uh, I'm, I, f I really feel sorry for Firenze. Uh, th th that was a hard punch for them. But uh, nevertheless, uh, congratulations to Switzerland. And this was the last game of the day. And I think we are uh, going now offline slowly. Maybe we can have a last picture of us. Uh, Vinny is with us. And we can uh, have him in the picture if anybody is still uh, looking. Here we are, uh, Bene. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <We're Amazing>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much uh, uh, for the compliments. And uh, we are going now offline. Uh, Enjoy the last pictures from the pool. Thanks for watching us. Okay. Thanks uh, to Jan and uh, yeah. for everybody. Uh, yeah, schlaf auch gut, Jan. Uh, gute Nacht. Uh, und uh, ja, schlaf gut aus bis morgen früh. Thanks everybody for watching this live stream of uh, Champions Cup 2016. Tomorrow, don't forget to tune on, starting on 9 o'clock, we have great games coming up and that's going to be the final date of yes. the Champions Cup 2016. So we start at 9, uh, we will be uh, right here uh, commenting the game for you. Uh, vielen Dank, uh, thank you very much everybody, merci beaucoup pour écouter. Um, uh, thanks for listening, uh, Don Aligato, and uh, <laughs> muchas gracias. Uh, I think that's all the language I know to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, and good night. This is uh, Jens behind us. He's doing uh, the tech stuff. Without him and without Vinny, all this, everything there is is impossible. Thanks a lot to Jens. Thumbs up. Woohoo! All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Bye. Over there.